My name is Liam Kelly and I'm the owner of Michael Bogwood Sculptures. Um, I started uh, sculpting Bogwood totally by accident. Um, it, uh, my background is hotel and catering and I think I started uh, sculpting little pieces just as a pastime and um, a few uh, family members sort of um, said I should do them as presents and Christmas presents. The, the whole process that I go through to, to actually get to the final um, piece of sculpture is a quite a long process. Um, so I start off by going to the bog and um, I will either have to dig up pieces that I think would be suitable or I will pick pieces up from that have been left over from turf cutting or drainage. Um, all the bogwood in Actel has been, I've carbon dated some of the pieces that I've took up and it's all been dated at around four and a half thousand years old. Uh, mainly in Actel you find uh, bog yew with some um, oak and uh, very little um, oak to be found in Actel but it's mainly, yeah, mainly yew. Um, so when I get a piece of bog wood from the bog I have to bring it back and uh, the process then starts of drying it which depending on the size can take anything up to a year or two years. I then um, remove the excess um, dirt that surrounds it and then I will have a, a good idea of a shape that I'm going to work with and I will start, uh, I use everything then from a pen knife to a chainsaw to get to the desired shape that I'm looking for. The thing with the bogwood as well is because of its age the history of Ackle would be steeped in that as well. Uh, I would, uh, when I get a piece of bogwood, that's probably the first time that it's been seen by the human eye in, in the space of 4,000 years old. Um, which a lot of people find uh, very hard to understand that the wood can be that old. But um, because it's in the bog, it's preserved. And there's uh, mainly because there's no um, oxygen. Uh, when uh, I finish a piece, then I finish it off with um, beeswax mainly. If I do a piece for outside, I still fin do do it in beeswax and Danish oil, and then I put uh, yacht varnish over it, protected from the weather. Um, I have done a f uh, quite a lot of commission work, probably the um, best known piece that I've done would have been for ex the ex-president Mary Robinson. Um, I've uh, done numerous pieces for golf clubs, charity. I do a lot of stuff for charities. The team that kind of run through my, through my um, sculptures would be um, mystical Ireland or, or, or old stories or um, children's fairy stories. Some of the pieces I have done are based on the children of Lear, actually. So this piece is basically on that, that's supposed to be Lear. And this, this is three daughters. And this is the son. And this is bog oak, all of this is bog oak, and it's put together in two pieces. And uh, 
I've done a, co a couple of local exhibitions and uh, people seem to be very interested in it and um, I gathered kind of impetus itself from there without any kind of advertising or anything. Um, when I uh, sculpt a piece, I probably do it totally different from uh, what the idea that people have of what a sculptor is. Uh, I'm known as a direct carver. So when I find a piece of bogwood, I will see an image in that piece of wood and I actually work towards that image then. And I keep in mind the properties of the wood and the wood actually dictates to me the final outcome 